Hello everyone, welcome to Plus Equal. In this tutorial, I will be introducing you to the tile map painting. So, in the previous tutorial, uh, we talked about the tile palette and we ended up with this screen right here. Now, you can see that the tile palette uh, have a lot of tools here. Uh, let's hover them one by one and see what they do. So, this mouse selection tool um, says that select an area of the grid. So, basically, you can see that now if I press here, I can select squares in this grid on the left side in our scene. Um, if we press on this one, it says move selection with active brush. So it's another one to move something. Uh, we also have the paint with active brush. Uh, we have the paint a field box, uh, a pick or marquee select, uh, an eraser and a flood fill. So these are all the tools we have for the tile palette here and they will be very useful, but we will be more in touch with them later. For now, let's, let's press this one to select, the most basic one. So you can notice that our scene is in 2D mode. So that means that if you press your middle mouse button, you can pan here and you can zoom in and zoom out also with the wheel. So you can move in the scene only with the middle mouse button, uh, the wheel button of your mouse. Uh, you can do pretty much everything when it comes to explore the scene view. So let's begin by painting some background stuff. For that, all we need to do is come here in the world, tile maps, and let's press our background. Background stuff can be considered as something that the player can step on, something that the player will move around, as there is the floor, and probably much of this stuff here will be kind of, kind of stuff the player can walk around. That's pretty much it. So you see that by pressing here background, it will put the, the active tile map as background as well. So if I put mid ground, it will change here, fences and foreground. It all changes here. Uh, we we'll, we want to pick background for now, and now we can paint our scene. So let's start by painting our scene. You need to have this selection here. Uh, you can paint one by one. Let's put again the tile palette. So if you press in the tile palette as uh, any tile, like for example, if I want this one to paint in the corner, if I press here, I will move to the inspector view. Uh, what you want to do is block the tile palette here, this tab, so you can come here into this lock icon and press it. Now it will be locked here, you can press anything you want and it, will, it won't change for the inspector of the tiles in this case. So I will select this one here. And now I can paint it. I will put the paint with active brush. Oh, let me select this again. And you can see that by hovering the mouse, it will say that I will paint this grass with a little darker one in the tiles. So I will come here into the corner and I will put it right here. By pressing there, it's there. It's applied. Looks good. You can also paint with some tiles. So for example, um, if I want, I can press this one on the middle. And if I press an over, I will paint a lot of them in a row. So I'll paint this until here. And now I can paint also two at the same time. Uh, let me paint this one and this one. So I will make the corner by two. At, at the <laughs> in a single action, I can paint more than one tile. I can paint the tiles that I select here. I could pick a lot of them, like 10 in a row, and paint them here. So I will paint this here at the side. And now if I want this, my, my area, my playable area, to have some mix between um, dark and normal green colors, I can do it. But I can also, for example, pick these four and paint it, die, paint it somewhere here, paint this one here. I can press this one and have a bigger area, so on. This is a, an amazing feature. Uh, I really like this one because there is a plenty of stuff that, that you can do. I will pick this one, this little lake, and I'll put it somewhere here. Okay, like this. Um, I will grab this four and I will change here. Oh, I can't because it's too short. Okay. 
no problem i will paint it here and now what i can do is paint this more to the side and then paint three to complete this and it will come a long way down here like this okay we just painted a little lake with something on the middle it looks good um, you can also do the same for these ones but it is pretty much the same so I won't do it for now you I think you get the idea to make this con consistent I will just paint oops until here let me paint with simple grass here and with this oh no not this one this one degrade one very nice I think that's it okay I will leave mine something like this while we do this don't forget to save your scene by Control S so this icon may disappear or you can go to file and save boom gone and that's the first introduction to the tile map uh, in unity in the next tutorial we will be heading a house and maybe more couple of stuff if we have time so i hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial don't forget to leave a like subscribe and consider to join our discord server to all of you that are watching this tutorial thank you a lot and i will see you next time see you there